Have you experienced racism in your career? Just because, you know, President Obama became a, the first black president doesn't mean that racism goes away and he's never going to experience it again. You know, it's, it's something that's going to take a long time to, I think, heal from in America. Um, but, you know, to this day, there are still people that don't think I belong, um, that don't think I'm right, that don't think I fit in. Um, I did experience some of it firsthand when I was a young dancer. Um, you know, just being told that I, I shouldn't be in Swan Lake, I shouldn't be dancing in, in the white ballet. I stood out too much. Um, I, you know, had makeup artists try and change the way my facial structure is to make me fit in more. And, um, and that's something I've always stood really firm on. Uh, I've, I've always felt very comfortable in my skin in terms of being a black woman and though I'm biracial my mother raised me to to understand that most people especially in America and society are going to view me as a black woman so I should be aware of that. Your promotion was lauded by the likes of Prince <laughs> Hillary Clinton but I think what was really profound one of your fans said this is for all the little brown girls out there it was obviously a big mo moment for you, but more importantly, for all those people that you represent. And that's how I saw it. I feel like when people say, like, you know, how, how do you handle this pressure and, and the weight of, of being the first, and, and to me it was like it, it was so much more than me. And what I represent and, and embody was this opportunity for a future for so many um, young minority children that were never told they could be a ballerina and I think also for a lot of you know past generations I've had so many older women come to me and say if only I had someone like you to look up to I would have continued to pursue a career in classical dance. Ballet has historically been a white elite art form and you've said in the past that we referring to black ballerinas don't exist in the ballet world I'm too muscular I'm too short my bust is too big so how did you break through? Mm -hmm. um, I think because of the way I was raised, uh, there were so many obstacles, and so it just became the norm for me. <laughs> you know, watching my mother raise six children on her own and, and uh, not always having a stable home and, uh, you know, atmosphere that we were raised in, it, um, that, that kind of mentality of surviving and fighting was just innate in me.